Hi everybody, this is Selena again. Today I'm going to show you how to use PicMonkey, which is a free online photo editor to use to make some awesome images. Stay tuned. So what you want to do is you want to go to PicMonkey.com and once you create your account and you have access into your information, you will see this layout. The first part up here is your hub. It's pretty much pretty like a file for all your images, all your documents that you've done before. Save in from drafts to the finals. You have your feature templates here and then some layouts that have specific um, measurements. So if you wanted to do a Facebook post, you can use these and so forth, even including YouTube if you have videos. So today what I'm going to show you or walk you through is on our We Are Native social media channels, we usually pull our reach numbers at the end of the month. So in lieu of our suicide prevention project, we had 42,245 people reach during our suicide prevention week in the month of September. So what I wanna do is I wanna showcase that and show um, that as part of like, you know, a Facebook book post or a presentation. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to create a new image and I am going to pull from an existing photo. Um, the great thing about it is you can start from scratch from a blank canvas or you can use your own content. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my computer here and upload an image I already have. So going to um, my desktop and I'm going to um, give it a file name. So I'll say suicide prevention reach. And then again into your folders. So, so I'll create that. So the image I pulled from my desktop was this here. And what I want to do is I want to make it a little more fun and fancy. So this is going to pretty much be my background. Um, I'm going to add some text. So there's some certain features here. Um, this canvas, you can crop it. You can resize the, doc, um, the background. Um, you can rotate it. So for example, um, background color too as well. Um, let's go ahead and cancel that. We want to fix maybe the exposure or maybe some of the brightness and things like that. You'll see maybe do a little bit of fading, things like that. Um, and then when you go for, down further to advanced edits, um, you can see some of these different types of awesome features too as you continue to play around with those. So for the purpose of um, focusing just on um, a basic um, document we're going to use, we're just going to go ahead and do something really, um, really casual. I wanted to so show some of these awesome effects too. If you're interested in applying some fun features to your image, you know, there's more here um, to have some of those kind of like a filter, filter um, vibe going on. You can touch up. So let's see, go to the text here. Um, you can use text by just adding a regular text content. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and utilize this text layout to make it a little bit more appealing and exciting. So let's see here. I am going to use, um, usually I kind of stay away from the cursive writing because a lot of people I think can't really see it too well. Um, so I'm going to find something that pops out to you. So using this template, all you then have to do is just go ahead and go in and and adjust some of those things. So here I'm going to click on a specific layer. That's what these are. So it says photo tricks for your phone. And that's gonna, when you click on that layer, it's gonna focus just specifically on that. If you click on the number 10, then you're gonna just focus specifically on that. But if you click this um, outside of that box, you know, it just picks individuals, but Right now we're gonna just go ahead and focus on one. So our reach for that week was 42,245. And as you can see, it's like enormous. So let's go ahead and minimize that. We can resize, letter spacing, line height, you'll see that. Um, and then I'll, we can also resize, but let's put that for now because I wanna see how much space we have at this side. So we can do suicide prevention week. And 
a lot of it to me in my opinion really goes along goes along with um ensuring that they're even and so i want to make sure suicide prevention is um, you can see the whole word so here we can adjust the size a little bit great so the text um you can play around with the colors you'll see here if you see a color specifically that you want to match with your um text there you can use this tool here and then match it up with say you want to match with that you want to match with the gray you want to match with the hair and it picks up the pretty much the exact color so i really like this gray color so we're going to go ahead and use that great so it looks like we are done with the text message or um, the text portion of this and um this is something that, again that we would post on our we are native pages or something we'd like to use within our presentations I'm going to see here what else with the other layers we can use and have fun with. So if you want, say I want to add the We Are Native logo to this too as well. Um, the great thing about it is you'll want to hit this um, looks like a little camera feature and there's other existing photos in here. But let's add our own image again, pulling from our computer. I'm going to go into our file and find the We Are Native logo. Here we go. So there, here we go, it's uploaded. So this is a fun trick that we usually do with our team here. Um, we like to provide the We Are Native logo and have it either as a background or something that blends in with the photo. And how you do that here is you're going to select the photo there. You can see this side bar that says effects, adjust. So there's this awesome feature called blend mode. You can do add, darken, the difference. Um, one, one of them we usually always use is pretty much the screen option. Um, this may be better, best when it comes to um, putting it on like on a darker image you'll see here but say we wanted to give this little lady a we are native t-shirt so we can do that and you see the fuzzy white lines around it um you know we'll just have to play with that so it looks like an awesome little screen t-shirt so we usually use that sometimes um but then say you don't want to have the background you just want to do like the normal in um, again we we like to play with this this option here so um, the only thing you can really do to be more familiar with pet monkey is just play with some of these features um, I think that's the best way to learn this website and some of the awesome like capabilities that is that that it has so good luck and we hope everything, uh, we hope this works out for you.